do you guys have experience in rank and rent? What are your thoughts on it? Um, I do not have much experience rank and rent myself. I think Nick does actually. So yeah, I'll let Nick talk. Yeah, when I got started, I thought, hey, that seems cool. Don't have to really talk to people too much, uh, you know, get this little, it, it sucks. Um, I don't know many people um, that did real well with rank to rent. I know a couple of people that, um, you know, did, but majority of people I've heard are usually newer and then it all kind of goes out the drain. Ultimately, rank to rent kind of sucks because you're fronting the bill, if nothing else, like this is just one of the major downfalls, but you're fronting the bill and then local based services, you mainly want the map pack. So you've got to kind of get crafty on how you're going to get the map pack listings for all these websites. You're gonna have to pay for the upkeep of all these websites. You're gonna have to manage everything, make sure there's no footprints. It's almost like kind of building, not quite a PVN, but you know, you're really gonna have to think about it in detail and it gets very expensive. And then furthermore, once you've got that whole asset, that whole group of sites, you're calling people and trying to convince them that they need this service. And a lot of times what you're going to come to find is these more blue collar workers aren't interested in spending money. It all sounds like sort of a LARP. So they're not going to be interested um, or they're going to lowball you or like it's just it's a different angle of headache versus what I would recommend is figure out how to go after new clients that do know what SEO is, that do know they need it and let them front the bill to their own asset. And then you can roll that money into whatever you want. It's a much more secure way. And when you show somebody that knows that they want SEO, that you know how to do SEO, you're going to create a much better relationship than, you know, Tom, uh, who's got a plumbing shop 20 years now, you know, and he's ready to exit, but you know, I don't know, you know, he shows me these numbers and I, you know, it, it's hard to tell whether it's doing anything like, you know, or 500 bucks a month is a lot of money. Um, these are not, it's just, you're going after a different type of clientele. Um, so I would recommend staying away from rank to rent, but you know, maybe there's some people out there that uh, would tell you otherwise. Yeah. Like Nick said, I know, I know more people that don't like it than people that do. Um, I, but the, I know some people that, you know, do it and they've had good success and, and whatnot, but, um, I think Nick made really good points, you know, having a local based or, you know, SEO agency where you get to play with other people's money and not your own is an insanely good thing, you know, get paid up front, then do the work. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's not, it's not, I rank it. And then, um, you know, you, I, I guess the, the, the draw to rank and rent was, would be, oh, I don't have to deal with clients, but that's kind of false because you do have to deal with the clients and you, you know, the, but the thing is you just have to front your money before you can deal with the clients. Right. So it's like, you have to do the work and then you have to, you're just like switching the order of, um, of dealing with the client and, and doing the work and getting paid. Um, so yeah, I, I, I usually don't recommend people do rank and rent. I'd much rather just play with someone else's money myself. Um, like Nick said, the GMBs is also a, a super issue. Um, yeah, most people that I know that are doing rank and rent, um, they uh, do not do GMBs. So they're only ranking organically, which, you know, to, to basically to make money with it, then you're going to have to have a ton of rank and rent sites because you're basically just kind of like bottom feeding and not bottom feeding, but you're getting a much lower percentage of the traffic than a real business with a GMB. And that's actually ranking. Um, so you're gonna have to like set up a bunch of these things and you have to deal with even more clients, more of these blue collar clients that don't understand that you're renting them traffic. Um, it just sounds like a, it sounds like a mess to me. I would, I would never want to deal with it myself. Um, yeah, I would just, I would play with someone else's money all day. Um, anything else on that one, Nick? Nope. That's it. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the links below for more info on this topic as well as other cool stuff like SEO case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking.